Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video and today I don't know why I'd like saying in the intro part Anyways, yeah, I'm back with another video and today we're gonna be testing out some Instagram hyped products So what that means is Instagram pretty much forced my hand All right, they took my credit card from me and purchased these products No, that pretty much means that I've seen these products so many times on Instagram Everyone raves about them loves them or they just seem really interesting and I was convinced to buy it. letting you guys know if I've been really liking them if I can do without them them. Basically if it's worth the hype, you know what I mean? I don't need to explain anymore. You get it. You get it before we get started Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below I drop a new video every single Sunday and a bonus video throughout the week So join the S Club and of course enter my giveaway if you're not entered already. There's only a few days left I think it's about a week left so enter by oop hitting that info card right there or hit the link at the top of the description and you can win an iPhone 7. Anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So first off, I'm gonna prep my face. I'm gonna be using a new-ish product, the Quick Fix Urban Decay Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. So I would say that this is kind of the newest primer that has the most buzz surrounding it. I think this is a mixture of Instagram and YouTube that kind of made me buy this guy right here. I've used this a couple times before my makeup. Let's see what it's meant to do. So you're supposed to shake it, apply it to clean skin, before moisturizer or makeup and it can also be used anytime to refresh your skin so it's meant to be hydrating and soothing and just help your makeup go on a lot nicer so let's give it a go okay wow you can see that it instantly looks like I put moisturizer on and it smells so much like coconut oil and when I feel my skin it feels a lot smoother I'm gonna wait for this to get absorbed into my skin before I move on to an Instagram hyped foundation you know what I can't forget a primer I was gonna kind of skip that step since this really does prep your face for foundation but I do have a newer product from Urban Decay and I feel like this is highly hyped on social media in general as well it's the self-adjusting complexion primer and the reason this is kind of unique compared to other primers is that it has adapting pigments so it's meant to like work with your own skin tone so I'm gonna apply this after using their quick fix spray and just dab it so it goes on white and then it kind of gets some color to it and it's meant to I guess help with any of the redness or discoloration that you might have on your skin before you even go in with a foundation so just because it's kind of hard to tell my face I'm gonna apply a little bit on my hand here and warm it up blending it into my skin so you guys can see that it actually does change into like a more skin tone color I have to say that I've used this a couple times now and I'm not too impressed by it but I think if you like something more lightweight if you have a lot of redness and stuff like that then this is a nice primer so now that the skin is prepped and ready to go for foundation I'm actually gonna apply these under eye patches from Tarte just because I feel like these cool kind of skincare masks under eye masks lip masks which we'll do later are really big on Instagram so I definitely wanted to include it in the video I've actually been using these for a while I did find them off of Instagram and that's what made me buy them so it's meant to help with fine lines and wrinkles dryness and I especially like them for the mornings when my under eyes are just super puffy and you know you have to be somewhere right away and you don't have time for it to go down naturally so these are really nice for that we're gonna get started with our foundation on our skin and then probably take them right off for foundation something that's really Instagram hyped recently is the hourglass vanish foundation stick this is meant to be a foundation and a concealer in one is what they claim because it's so full coverage but still give you a nice skin finish so it's not completely matte. And I think all the hype around this was because it's a stick foundation, which is pretty unique. I mean, you don't see too many stick foundations out there and it's more of like a cream formula. So I feel like that's the peel behind it. It seemed like something pretty cool, something new. I like it more for like cream contouring and stuff like that. It's really pretty. Now to blend that out, I'm gonna do something very Instagram-like. I'm gonna use the palm brush from Artiste. The Artiste brushes are so popular for makeup videos on Instagram. I don't know what it is, but everyone seems to be using them. They're the ones that kind of look like they're using a spoon or like utensils to blend their makeup out. I'm not gonna just blend that out regularly. No, I have an elixir. So this is the rose gold elixir from Farsali. Farsali? Farsali? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This one's pretty cool because it also has little 24 karat gold pieces inside of it. I'm just gonna apply that on my brush. Maybe three little drops. It's so cool. You can actually see the gold flex in it. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my under eye patches now. Do I look like I have no dark circles? Are my wrinkles gone? What do you guys think? Whoa. It's blending it out so quickly. I mean, it better, this is humongous. The brush is really, really soft too. I'm just so used to pouncing a beauty blender. I feel like that in my acne spots, if I use something that's swiping a foundation around my face, it's just not gonna cover it very well. So I might go in after and just reapply onto those acne spots. I'm gonna apply a couple more drops. It's actually crazy how many gold flecks are in it because with every drop, I'm getting some of the gold on there. So that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna blend out my forehead now. 
I'm really hot, so my chest is a little bit red. Just ignore that. I'm also gonna use the drips just on my lips because it's meant to be very hydrating. I've seen girls do this on Instagram as well. And your girl does have kind of chapped lips. I mean, it's the dead of winter, so let's hope this works. So final thoughts on that type of foundation application. I kind of prefer the Beauty Blender still over this brush, just because I don't have perfect skin. So over the acne spots and like the places where I have texture, if I'm swiping and trying to buff it into the skin, I'm not gonna get as much coverage in those areas. And it's just gonna irritate those dry patches, make it look a little bit more flaky and not just pat the product on like a Beauty Blender would. But other than that, it applied very quickly. So if I'm in a rush, Maybe I would use it. As far as the elixir goes, I'm really, really liking it. It's giving my face such a nice glow to it. I'm probably gonna have to powder my forehead and my T-zone just because I get oily in those areas. And I do have texture that tends to be emphasized if it is a little bit shiny. So um, I prefer those areas to be matte. But other than that, I'm loving the way it made my lips feel so soft and give my skin that nice natural glow to it. Hi. Moving on to brows, I'm gonna show you guys something I picked up because of Instagram. And this is a facial blade hair razor thing. I've started to use it for my brows, yes, but also for like the peach fuzz that grows on my upper lip. So I'll just use this to quickly touch up my brows before I actually fill them in to get rid of any of the unwanted hair that's grown in. And you're just meant to use it on an angle, press it against the skin, and gently glide against the hair growth direction. I had no idea this existed before I saw it on Instagram, but they're like at every Walmart, so I don't know how I don't know about it. Now for filling in my brows, I think you guys all know what I'm gonna use. It's the pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This helps you achieve that like super sharp Instagram brow that's almost too perfect. I used to use this a lot, but I toned it down a bit. I want my brows to look a little bit more natural now, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna use it because Instagram made me buy it. Now I'm gonna carve out my brows and prime my eyes using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Of course, carving out your brows is huge on Instagram as well to get that super sharp, perfect looking brow. Now for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this, I have to admit, is a combination of YouTube making them buy it and Instagram because I feel like everybody under the sun who loves makeup is using Using the Tarte Shape Tape. It's just a great concealer. And again, I'm gonna apply a few drops of that elixir onto the Beauty Blender. This concealer is very full coverage. It's very matte and can sometimes be drying if you have dry under eyes. So using this elixir with this concealer probably would make it better for me. And I really like how it changed the finish of the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. It's a lot more dewy now. It matches our skin. And overall, my face is like super glowy because of this oil. This is worth the hype. I really like this actually. I just hope that adding that won't make it crease though. Maybe not if we set it. I'm gonna go in with a cream contour because cream contour is just all so popular on Instagram. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia cream contour kit, but I've been seeing a lot of iconic London on Instagram lately. I don't know what it is, but they have like their new highlight drops, which are very similar to the cover FX drops. And they also have their cream contour and powder contour palettes, which are all over Instagram. I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. It's blending really easily into the foundation. I just think because they're both cream products, it's looking really nice together. And definitely the oil elixir is helping everything blend nicely together too. And of course, the next step is the baking technique. This is very popular on Instagram as well. And I'm using the Laura Mercier powder, which is, you know, a cult favorite. Everybody loves this powder. It's a great setting powder. They actually came out with one for deeper skin tones. I'm going to use this to cut the contour, also to set our under eye. I'm going to put a nice thick layer because you often see that on Instagram. Now I'm going to use the remainder on my Beauty Blender to kind of press into my forehead because I do not like to have a lot of shine on my forehead since I get oily there and I have texture. And of course you can't forget about setting the bridge of the nose because this is going to give us that narrow Instagram nose. This setting powder is definitely worth the hype. I don't think I'll ever stop using it so I'm glad I found that through Instagram. So it's been a couple minutes. I will dust off the powder now. Now for bronzer, I decided to go with the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. Definitely have seen it many times on Instagram and the hype was just too much for me. I caved, I had to buy it and I have no regrets. And I'm using a huge fan brush from BH Cosmetics because I can't help but notice that this has been a very popular tool for applying bronzer on social media lately. For blush, I'm gonna use the Papa Don't Peach Blush from Too Faced. It's a fairly new blush and I couldn't really think of any product that's super, super hyped up on Instagram. I really like it. Also smells like peaches. Now for highlight, I'm gonna use the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Instagram definitely made me buy this. There is so much hype around this product. It's like a liquid, metallic, it's like the sun in a bottle, okay? It's so bright. It's like the ultimate highlighter. You can really 
put this in anything and look at that. I'm just gonna dip my beauty blender into it a little bit, dab off all the excess, cause if you use too much of this, it can really be a lot. And then just slowly apply it on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, like, oops, that's a lot. I like how you can control how bright you want it. So you can only do like a very light layer if you don't want it to be too blinding. But if you want it to be brighter than the sun, you just go at it, honey, and it's gonna be so highlighted. Moving on to eyes, a very, very hyped up palette that I have seen around Instagram for the longest time. The reason I bought it was because of Instagram and that is the Morphe 350 palette. It is a great palette at such an affordable price. You got all the necessary neutral colors in there. I'm gonna just start by warming up my crease a little bit. Something simple and natural just because I don't wanna do anything too complex. This video is more about the products that Instagram made me buy. So I'm not gonna do an in-depth kind of eye look. Now I am gonna give myself a very dramatic, long, hopefully perfect wing just because wing liner is a thing it's just a thing it's always on Instagram I'm using the hourglass eyeliner pen called voyeur it's waterproof it's a liquid liner and I've really been liking this one lately it's like super jet black and very easy to use now I'm gonna apply some mascara I feel like mascara is usually just skipped on Instagram videos but the big shot mascara from Maybelline has been posted about a lot recently but I'm really gonna put a lot of layers on my lower lashes make them as Kardashian like as I can now for eyelashes and Pink lashes are usually the most popular lashes on Instagram videos. The Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes are very popular. And then also the Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. I'm gonna be wearing the Coco Lashes just cause I've been wearing these ones recently and I really like them with my eye shape. These are very dramatic, but they're still very comfortable to wear. They have a thick band, but like these ones. So I'm just gonna throw these on and I'll be right back. So the Queen Bee lashes are on. I love them so much, definitely worth the hype. Lips are the last thing that we have to do and I have a couple products that are very Instagram hyped. The first one is a lip scrub. There's so many different types of lip scrubs from so many different companies, but MAC recently came out with one. So I'm gonna use theirs. This one's in Sweet Vanilla and they called their lip scrubs Lip Scrumptious. So basically you just apply and it's supposed to, mm, oh. It smelled so good that I had to like taste it. It does not taste as good as it smells. It smells like vanilla. So you're just supposed to rub it around and it's supposed to help exfoliate your lips. My lips are very dry. I've been biting them lately. So hopefully this will help. Okay, I'm not even exaggerating you guys or being dramatic, but like this entire line on the inside of my lip was super, super dry and crusty. But after that, it like got rid of all the dryness and it feels a lot smoother. I like that. I honestly thought lip scrubs were overrated. I was like, just use chapstick, but it definitely helps. Now the next lip product that I have is a lip mask. If it's useful, I don't know. I mean, it looks kind of crazy, but let's give it a shot. So there's three in the pack. It's supposed to be like a three day lip plumping collagen cleanse. So you're supposed to put it on. Eh, this is so difficult to put on. It's so flubbery. I look crazy. If this gives me Kylie Jenner lips, I'm never getting lip injections again. Fingers crossed. It's definitely ruining my foundation, but I'll just touch it up after, it's okay. Heat mask on for 20 to 30 minutes. I have a life. So I didn't think I had to keep it on this long. See you guys in a bit. Okay, it's been like 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't wait any longer because I'm impatient. Do my lips look plumper? I don't know. I mean, they feel and they look a lot softer and more hydrated. I don't know if that's just because of the lip scrub or a combination between the lip scrub and the mask. Eh, keep you updated. Now for lips, I decided to use the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick and lip pencil because obviously these products are very, very hyped up on Instagram and glossy lips have been making a comeback on Instagram. So I'm gonna go in with So Cute Lip Gloss from Kylie as well. So this concludes the full face using Instagram hyped products. My favorite like hyped up product I would say that actually is worth the hype is definitely this elixir that I just tried out today. I love it changing my life. And if you guys like this video and want a part two, let me know some more Instagram hyped up products that you want me to try out. Leave them down below so I can go through the comments and maybe give you guys a part two because this is a lot of fun. I like to spend money. I like to test new things. And my mic cut out at the end of the video here, but I'm just letting you guys know if you missed my last upload, you can go ahead and click the box down below to watch it and subscribe to my channel by clicking the bubble in the corner of the screen. I love you guys so much. See you in my next video. Bye.